they give you a mark. I don't know how yeah. you know, give you the markup yeah. or whatever, and then you then just like a block line, yeah, you know. Basically. Hello, Dale. Yeah. You know, Tiffin. Tiffin. Yeah. And then you'll copy the what they need. Yeah. And yes, I'm officially I've worked Tiffin Tower before. You have? Oh, four or five times. You probably might get this guy if I run the um, Cincinnati Northern out. He'll come out, cross over, come down the NW connector track. Oh, yeah, he's down on my end. Anything yeah. anything up here at the Helix. Anything up there is the Dales. Or the Yardmaster calls me here. Correct. So well, I could I could I, talk I to Dale and say, give this guy. Talk to him about everything. That, you know, if they're going down the bottom mm -hmm. level, if they're going up the top level. Yep. He's my my in between man right so, so i can issue out of outer in mansfield yes but tiffin is the as far as i correct and then i have to hand it off to dale right so i got mansfield to tiffin right from there you would run everything would go now if if you were running against the grain of traffic out of tiffin up from coleman to grove the traffic because it was right hand running yep and that's the way it is up here too so it's all right hand running and yeah, I know over there, and there's no signals or anything. So, right, right. right. And I mean, yours there functional there, but that was APS, 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 APB, APB. APB. My my question, you are here in this room. What are you actually doing here for the viewers who, who are watching? Basically, I get all the form D's. I'll repeat them to the dispatcher, and then you know when the train calls, I'll give the train the form D so they, you know, have permission to go between point A and point B. Lining up the trains, making sure everything was, you know, properly lined for, you know, Tiff and Power had three railroads at one time. You had the New York Central, which was between uh, Carriance and Dusk. And then you had the Pensy, this line, Phil Edwards, and the B&O. And you, I don't think they did order, uh, they did do order oh, yeah, for yeah. the B&O too. So, you know, there was a lot of different things. It was a busy job. Outer got a markup for you. Train ID GRU 12. Oops. Two units. 6145-6396. Zero by 21. 3190 tons. 6145-6396. Zero by two one. Three one nine zero tons. I'd like to bring them against the grain to uh, airs to you. Because yeah, when I think about it, the being though this matcher did order order issue orders to Tiffin Tower. Because they would have to track or right, you know, east or west, and they would have to run opposite main. Because it would be from Columbus Avenue and Fostoria to Tiffin Town. Because the dispatcher controlled the east end of the siding on the BNO. That was not something that left tower did. But yeah, there'd be times when you'd be listening to two or three people. You'd be on the bell phone, and there'd be radios going, and, and you know, you'd have to keep all the straight in your mind to make sure everything that you know was happening you were on top of what's not but you got to be there's times when i would leave work and i was tired huh. physically mentally exhausted i was always used to the eastbound tracks being number two track westbound number one well up from best beyond the pensy was the opposite way mm -hmm. number one was the eastbound track number two is the westbound so you would go from upper to fostoria yeah, I always had I always had to remind myself, no, they're the way they're supposed to be up here, <laughs> they're backwards down there. So yeah. that was something that, you know, yeah, and you had to be careful, you know, make sure you knew what was where. And I would at times drive from, you know, follow the railroad line so I knew where different places were at. Hmm. You know, watching trains obviously, but you know, it just learning the territory. Copy. Okay, sounds good. We'll be ready for him when he gets there. Uh, yep. The 
operator, you would have to put blocking devices on, like when you were running trains in opposite directions or there was track people out. And they were always written on the train order sheet in red. And that way you knew, you know, when you saw that, you knew nothing else was going that way. So that was another thing, you know, just little things like that, making sure that you were aware of where people were at. And we actually had, it's called blocking devices. We would put those over top of the levers and they actually, like a cylinder on top and then like a, a wedge on the bottom. So that way you couldn't pull the lever out. It would prevent you from doing so. So that, you know, and then when you took the blocking device off or BDA, then you'd have to, you know, pull it off with the dispatcher, tell them BDA, you know, at whatever time it was, and then you could go back to normal operations. So I worked bit. as an, an operator for the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway. Um, it was technically Chessie's system at the time, but they kept everything separate. Uh, and I also did yard clerk work uh, because if when... The CNO would bring up a coal train or a grain train to Foss Story. It would actually have to be interchanged to the B&O or from the B&O to the CNO. It wasn't one line, you know, one system like it is now. You, you know, you'd have to, you had all the punch cards would come in and you'd have to sort them all out, make sure everything was correct, and then send it to the next location. So, you know, but it wasn't just, you know, well, if you ran out of Garrett and went to Columbus, you know, vroom, where you went, you couldn't do that. Mm. You, know, you you had to... Uh, interchange actually inter physically interchange you know from the B and O to the C and O or vice you know knowing your destination codes and how to send it and and just always hoping and praying that the punch cards would go through the system mm -hmm. and that was always something that was kind of uh, uh, cross your fingers and hope and pray that it would work. You call Tiffin. One D for that GRU uh, twelve if you want to copy it. Okay, go ahead. For a repeat. Okay, that's form D number 200 delivered to Conrail 6145 SIX on EF4UR58E, May 7th, 1980. CNE 1 train GRU 12 on ETWO operating in the south SOUTH direction on main MAIN track between Carruthers C A R R O T H E R S and Chester C H E S T E R. Clear blocks at Carruthers Frank. Hickman, Stack, and Chester. Time effective, 11.55, operator D. Devine. D. Devine, 11.55, and uh, Spatcher Payne, D-A-Y-N-E. Spatcher Payne, 11.55. If you're okay to give it to him when he gets to your house, you're there. Copy that, sounds great, thank you. We're all 6145, calling Tiffin Tower, over. Tiffin. Looking for a form D to continue south, sir. Copy that. Here's your Form D. Ready to copy, sir? 6145, ready to copy. Ah, it's Form D number 200, T double O O O, delivered to Conrail 6145. Today's date, May 7th, 1980. CNE 1 train, GRU 1212. Operate in the south, S O U T H direction, on main, M A A. I N track between Carruthers and Chester. Line six, clear blocks at Carruthers, Frank, Hickman, Stack, and Chester. Roger, Conrail GRU 12 with Conrail 6145 understands. Form D200, that's T-double-O, 
Go over to Conrail, 6145. Today's date, 5 7 1980. To 1 CNE, to 1 train, GRU 12. Box 1 operating the south, SOUTH direction on main track between Carruthers and Chester. Line 6, clear box at Carruthers, Frank, Hickman, Spack, and Chester. Time effective is 11.59. Operator Devine, D. Devine. Time effective, 1159, dispatcher D. Devine, over. Copy that, good repeat. Roger, GRU 12 on the move. Jerry U12 entering single track Gibsonburg. Jerry U12 out. Jerry U12 cleared for Goon. Jerry U12 out. Conrail 6145, Clear Maple Grove, Jury 12 out. Conrail 6145 South, Clear Cromer, GRU 12 out.
Commonwealth 6145, entering the French block. Here you call out. Yes, and tower. Jerry 12, uh, right corner 4 with you, over. Copy that, go ahead. Uh, Jerry 12, reporting clear of uh, Watch Carruther, Frank Hickman, Scott, and Chester at this time, over. Copy that, show at 12 13, ONE TWNE, THR Lily. 12 13, Roger. Jerry 12 out. KF and out. Ready to copy over. UDM 1232A uh, dispatcher, uh, we need to add another locomotive onto that uh, order. Over. Got the Conrail 6762. Uh, that's a negative, sir. Uh, currently we have DEEX 011 in the lead. Over. Okay, sir, so you have a DE. Uh, Delta Echo Echo X ray 011. Over. Roger. Form 201 delivered to UDM 32A, that's 32 Alpha, today's date, 5 7 1980, to CNE1 train DEEX 011, operating the north NORTH directions on main track between Chester and Tiffin. Circle line 6, clear blocks at Chester, C H E S T E R, stack S T A C K, Hickman H I C K M A N. Frank, F R A N K, and Carruthers. Over. I uh, did not say Frank, F R A N K. Nope. Roger, clear blocks at Chester, C H E S T E R, Stack, Hickman, and Carruthers. Over. That is correct. Also, to repeat, according to Carruthers, 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 Carruthers. Roger that. Roger, correctly repeated, uh, time factor of 1223, that's 1223, dispatcher hunt. Over. That's correct. Should give a call to 
Roger, you have a cold Tiffin. Uh, UDM 32A is out. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, UDM 32A, uh, looking to clear blocks with you. I can show UDM 32 Alpha with the DEX 011 clear of blocks. Chester, Stack, Hickman, and Carruthers. Over. Raj, UDM 32A understands. Uh, form be canceled. Today's 85, 780, 1232. Over. UDM 32A, call Tiffin Tower, over. Uh, Tiffin, uh, UDM 32A, come on your doorstep, over. Roger, UDM 32A, understand, signal indication, Tiffin, thank you. UDM 32A, out. Copy that, buy at 12.43. Spatter, Tiff and Tower. Hey, that UDM 32A with the Deeks um, 011 is uh, clear Tiffin 1243. Uh, that is correct, sir. Thank you. UD32A, clear for two, DEX011 out.
DEX 011 Clear Gibson Bird. UDM 32A is out.
thank you again, Howie, for the hospitality of your uh, layout and, and the operating session and what goes on behind the scenes. And uh, we really appreciate uh, the invite. Sure. Come on out anytime. Thank you. Okay. Yep. This is Steve from Stormy Sky Rail Productions along with Dave. It's Stormy Sky Rail Productions out. After editing episode four, I decided to do a short video clip on what you're about to see next. We had a huge blooper that occurred back in May of 2023 while filming this, which our friend gave us a GoPro Cube to use while filming the on-track segment uh, of this video. So we taped this to a flat car, got it going, and ran it around the whole layout. So we got back to the hotel that night, went ahead, downloaded it, and played it. I heard sound, but we didn't get no video. Well, after further review, me, <laughs> myself and I, forgot to take off the cover. So, luckily, we were there long enough that week, so we were able to go back to Howie's house and redo this video and then you'll see the before and after but I thought I'd, I'd put this in because it's hilarious so there's a couple bloopers coming up that you'll enjoy from my uh, video in this series we're ready ready to go Stop that.